Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to What's Up 245. WTRL Team tri Prime Trial Night. Again, I'm not even going to bother trying to say that again. Third time lucky, this is hopefully going to be for me. I've done two of these before. First one, my gear cable snapped. Last week, what happened last week? Oh, I just had a dropout and then was left way behind my group. So this week, I've got on really early. I've done loads of tests. There is a problem, problem. There is a problem, but it's not one that's actually going to cause me any real difficulty. But my cadence doesn't seem to match what my actual cadence is at all. My cadence on screen, it's all over the place. So I'm hoping to go all the way to the finish with the rest of my team this time. Fingers crossed, touch wood. So we're going on the Bologna course, time trial route. So whatever kilometers it is, and then up that disgusting hill, back down again, all the way back to the start. Little U-turn along the flat again, up that disgusting hill again, back down and back to the finish. Yeah, not much else to tell you really. Uh, I was supposed to do the mini crit last night in preparation for this race just to keep my body pumped. But instead, uh, it was my, my, well, my middle child's birthday. He was 17. So I ended up going out for a meal and eating a huge burger from Gourmet Burger Kitchen. I think it was called the Taxi Driver or something like that. It was pretty offensive. Massive burger with an onion ring and cheese. I had sweet potato fries, peanut butter milkshake, which was just one of the best things I've ever put in my mouth. Oh, and some beers. So my pre-race preparation, not the best. You will notice the rebirth of the man bun. It's not exactly the man bun I used to have on this game. That one doesn't seem to be available anymore. But Mr. Denton very wisely came up with the idea that we should all have more distinguished looks within our team so it's easier to identify who's who when we're riding in our bunch. So I volunteered to bring back the old man bun. My real hair, actually, why have I still got a cap on? My real hair is not quite there yet, but it's, it's getting pretty long, so you never know. The, the IRL man bun might come back at some point. And as Keith also very rightly pointed out, I used to be a lot faster back in the days when I had a man bun. So maybe I'd inadvertently cut off the root of all my powers when I cut my hair. Hey ho, right, I'm gonna zip it, 20 minutes to the start of the race. We're, all right, we're going out at six minutes past the hour and my fiercest rival, Mr. Kev Steven in ODZ, is going out one minute behind us. So that's not gonna be pleasant. Actually, when I jump back into the pen, I do need to look up all the riders again so I can let you know who's going out and when, who are in the teams. We have got lots of teams. I think we've got Fun, Pain, Torture, Vomit and the new Goat Herder team, which is brilliant. So, anyway, I'll catch you in a minute. I'm in the pen, nine minutes to go, trying to find the list of riders for each of our teams. All I can find at the moment is the start time for each team. So I'll let you know those anyway. So we've got the first to go out are going to be Team WKG Torture at two minutes past the start time, so 7.42 p.m. In actual fact, Goat Herders go out at the same time but from a different pen. So WKG Goat Herders at two minutes past. Then WKG Vomit go out at four minutes past, as do WKG Pain, and then WKG Fun go out at six minutes past. So I'd like to tell you who's in which team, but I can't, I mean, it's gonna be in here somewhere, but I am flicking through page and page and page of posts, trying to find a definitive list. So, I've got to, first things first, remember not to pedal when the clock goes to zero. That's a reminder for me more than anything else. And also, a reminder for me, set my timer so I can do the countdown from the correct point. Once again, with the magic of editing, I will jump to just as the team start rolling out. Okay, there we go. First team, boom, off they go, and it looks like it's the herd honey badgers have gone. Good luck, guys. Thanks for the ride-ons, everybody. They've been dropping down. That's right, it looks like Catherine D has a timer on, so um, she can give us the go. Okay, the first of our teams will be going out in about 30 seconds. That's the Goat Herders and Torture, I believe, are the first two to go out. All right, they should be going. Bang on. Yep, yeah, that was a perfect call. Off they go. Right, so Stephen Moon, I can see, is going. Kevin Wilshire is a Goat Herder. Mike Pickering who's new to the team, great to have you along. 
And I didn't see who else. But it looks like they've got one, two, three, four. Is it just the four or was there a fifth rider I saw? Anyway, good luck, herders. And I can't remember who were the other ones that were going out, did I say? Torture, I think. We've got the herd lions. Good luck, herd lions. All right, so the next lot should be going out in three, two, one. Boom. Pain. Go, go, go. God, talk about absolutely spot on, Mr. Harmsworth. So we've got Dave Harmsworth. We have... How Why, I think, is in there. Paul Trilk is in there. And some others. Uh, sorry, I just got a message from Dave saying, can we do this? I think I know what you're referring to, Dave, if you're watching this. Sorry, dude, I did see your message. I will get to it. In fact, I will definitely get in touch with Zwift first thing tomorrow morning. I've got quite a few things I need to try and set up with them, and that is on the agenda. So apologies for not doing it before now. I'll, um, I'll get on with that. Now we have the Tugas going off. It's just one minute until we go now. Check my gear, yeah, I'm in an all, all right gear to pull away. Arrow out of the way, up there, nice and clear. 30 seconds. The old nerves are kicking in again now. Actually, need a wee, but I think that is nerves. At least I'll be able to tell you who our team is in 20 seconds time. Make that 10 seconds time. There we go, I'm looking for a instruction from Catherine or Keith. Or do I just go? To be honest, I'm just going to go when my clock goes, which is now. Here we go. We're off. We are off. Okay, so we got Keith Denton, Andrew Lawrence, myself, Paul Elliott Kowalcic, Percy Santa Maria, Maria Trilk, and Catherine Denton. The dream team <coughs> and me. <laughs> Keith went off like a bat out of hell. But I think his intention was to try and drag us along the flats and kind of leave us to it on the climbs. But I think he's underestimating his own climbing ability and certainly overestimating mine. All right, anyway, stop the chatter for a while. Get my head down. to make our first catch which is Di Ferreira from the Tugas team and I can see Kev Stevens ODZ group doing really well started a minute behind dropped back to about a minute and a half just with the start I think they're back to now 56 seconds so good stuff guys we are keeping a really lovely tight bunch here awesome work Alright, this is the uh, the bend of doom, I believe. We're about to hit. That's where it suddenly just ramps up. To like 12% or something. Yeah, here we go. That's a sight I didn't want to be seen at all. Let alone this soon. Not quite made the top of the climb yet. There's the ODZ with Kev. Just two seconds off my back. I'm eight seconds off my bunch. They're too strong up this hill for me by miles. And I've got to do it again yet. There is it, the old bastard, Mr. Kev Steven, coming past. The last time I did this course, he was working with me. 
I won't get the same treatment today. <laughs> Thank you, Kay Katronis. Modi Z for the ride on. There's Brett Elder also coming past. Oh, oh my guys are smashing it, that's brilliant. Oh, I don't know which team that was. One of the WKG teams just went flying past on the downhill. Good stuff, guys. Team Payne, I think it was. I caught Paul Trilk's name. It's S. Gardner from Vegan Cycling. Comes past me. This goes on forever. Well done, Cat Nav, on taking the orange jersey for the start to finish. Great stuff. They're coming down the other side now, my group. Oh. Uh, okay, Katronis has just taken that orange jersey. Well done. There's Big Z at the side there. There go the ODZ team coming down the other side. Oh. Annoyingly, I won't be that quick on the downhill comparatively either because I don't have any anyone to draft. <laughs> Keep saying that hurt big time, yeah. Still hurting for me. <laughs> Cheers, Carlos, for the ride on, just as I decide to tuck and roll <laughs> for a little bit. Here come my guys heading towards me, I think. There they go. Right on, fellas. And Catherine. I always include Catherine as guys. There's Kev's trio. Doing a great job. Come on, team fun. Hopefully you're saving your legs for that final climb. I'm just coming up to the hairpin to slingshot me back round now. I'm closing in on uh, Stephen Moon from the uh, Goat Herders, WKG Goat Herders. I'm 200 metres behind him. So, I'm kind of using him as my target at the moment <laughs> to try and close down before we get to the second climb. Oh, the second climb. Stupid idea. Although I got dropped right off the back of my bunch, I think I actually beat my PB from the start up to the top of the climb by about three minutes. So, small victory. But as I said at the beginning of this, my aim was very much to be with my team, to actually be of some use towards the end. Even though I've not had a mechanical, I think I'll be more useless in this one than I was in the previous, because I didn't even do any pulling while we were on the flat. The idea was to try and sit in on the flat and help on the climb. Oh man, Stephen, unlucky dude. He's pulled up, give me a ride on if I can. Go on, man. I hope you're just taking a breather and you can come chasing me down in a minute. Hey, Stephen Moon's going again. Good man. Cheers, Michael Collins, for the ride on. His ride on usually comes either just before or just after one from Zoe. So apologies if Zoe, you've already given me a ride on and I missed it. I'm going to take the chance and thank you for it just in case. <laughs> I'm jumping to the front now because we've got Team Payne are on the climb. We've got Darren Rayfield, we have Hal Y, we have Dave Harmsworth. Who did I miss there? Mr. Trilk, Paul Trilk, of course. Mr. Pickering. I oh, know he's a goat herder. So I've jumped back out 
So these are the guys, I think these are our front group. Let's go further up the road and see. I can't tell for sure, but I think herd lions, as far as sort of groups and teams go, I think these are the guys at the front. 23.2 kilometers done. There are other riders, uh, riders that have done more. They seem to be sort of solo riders. So I'm guessing these guys are at the front with uh, Tugas right with them. So if they've both done the same distance, those teams, why can I not see the other teams? Is it because they come out of different start pens? Can you not see the teams that come out of different pens? All right, anyway, I don't want to lose too much touch with what's going on, so let's get back to me. Yeah, Stephen Moon's doing really well. He's now just 44 seconds behind me. I'm hoping he'll get close to me by the time we get to the climb. Maybe we can work together a little bit up there. So in Team Fun, we've still got tightly packed together. We have Catherine Denton, Keith Denton, Percy Santa Maria, Paul Elliott Kowalczyk, Andrew Lawrence, and Maria Trill. Maria just a couple of seconds off the back now, but they're coming into the climb, so it's likely to get all split up now anyway. Kev, Brett, and Catronis, sorry I don't know the first name, have managed to get past these, these guys. Stretched a couple of seconds ahead. Although right as I say that, it looks like Team Fun are now blasting back past. Great stuff. Keith D, four and a half watts per kilogram, look at that. And his heart rate through the roof at 134 beats per minute. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Good job, guys. Whoa, whoa. It's like Kev's had a dropout. Ah, oh, what a pain. Unlucky, dude. I do genuinely mean that. Unless, of course, it's that your kicker's just blown up, in which case you, you get what you deserve. Uh, <laughs> nah, just kidding. Unlucky, man. I hope you're all right. I hope it is just a technical and it's not you, you blowing up. Uh, he's going again. He's probably waiting for me. So just so he can out sprint me to the line. Yeah, he's up in the three, four watts per kilogram. So he, yeah, it must have been a mechanical problem. That's really harsh. Right, I've got the herd armadillos closing in on me. Just 300 meters behind. And obviously all working together as a bunch. So strangely, I kind of need this hill to come to kind of negate the, uh, the effect of drafting. And just hope that I can keep that gap or possibly extend it up the hill if I've got anything left in these old legs of mine. So I can hold them off on the descent and the flat on the other side. All right, the hairpin to hell. Here we go. How have I done this four times this week? Bloody hell. find my group I think we're probably close to the finish here's one of the goat herders or a couple of the goat herders I think they are finished I can't I think I might have missed 
Team Fun coming over. Ah, uh, sorry guys. Unless they're further back, but I don't think so. I think Maria and Andrew have dropped off. But I think the rest of the guys have already finished. So, sorry I missed that. I've been in a bit of an individual battle here with El Hay. We were pretty much stuck to each other all the way, all the way up the climb. He was never more than three or four metres behind me. I managed to have a bit of a kick on the top of the climb to come over. Um, but he accelerated down the hill well as well. So we've just three kilometres to go. It's only 15 seconds separating us. We're both holding very similar power. Um, so that's kind of where my attention has turned. So once again, apologies for missing the finish of Team Fun and loads of others. Once again, I'm going to be the the last finisher of my group. But like I say, I am involved in this little private duel <laughs> with El Hay. Do you know, I haven't even give, given him a ride on yet. Let's do that if I can find my mouse. Oh, is it? Okay, so Miss or Mrs. El Hay. All right on. Okay, looking at the power, it looks like Andrew's just finished. And Maria, probably going to come over straight after. Let me just check. Oh, has Andrew finished or has he just blown up? I can't tell if that's after the line or not. Anyway, well done, guys. I'm hoping I've broken the spirits of El Hay, whose power is dropping down. I'm managing to hold around two. Yeah, she's dropped off considerably. It might actually be because there's no point in coming, her coming home that far ahead of the rest of her team. So it's more worthwhile her dropping back and trying to help to speed up the rest of the bunch. Yeah, I think both Maria and Andrew have finished now. 1.8 kilometers to go. They're 1.9 kilometers ahead of me, so yeah, they finished. Yeah. <laughs> It definitely seems that El Hay was dropping back to work with the rest of the herd armadillos. Sensible choice. Wow. 1.1k to go. No mechanicals so far. Touch wood. I don't have those as an excuse this week. Purely just a lack of speed particularly at a critical point. I really needed to be coming over the top of that, the first climb with my team. But uh, I just couldn't hold their power. They were so strong up there. Ironically, I think I was probably stronger on the second climb, not the whole of the second lap, but the second, the actual climb part of it, mainly pushed on by El Hay, <laughs> and not wanting her to come past me. But uh, yeah, so sorry I couldn't contribute to the, uh... oh, I moved my camera, I didn't realize that. Sorry, I couldn't really contribute to the team teamwork, but I'll get there. We'll keep trying. I'll get there. Eventually, I'll be able to help you guys out. I think I'm actually in the wrong group, if I'm honest. But I don't want to switch from Team Fun now. They're my team. Uh, but I think I'll be better off in a, a team with more equivalent power. All right, this is where I picked up on Andrew and Maria on the camera. So, yeah, it's 400 meters short of the finish. So, they were still going. I'll see if I can have a sprint for the line. Let's get to about 200 meters and see what we can do. Oh, oh dear. What was that I was saying about mechanicals? I don't know what that was, but my chain just jumped off and back on again. All right, I'm not going to be sprinting. <laughs> uh, well, that is a freaking tough route. Thank you, WTRL. WRTL, up WTRL, oh my god, I'll, I'll remember it properly one time. Actually, it says it on my screen, WTRL. <laughs> Thank you guys, for putting on another fantastic race. These events are getting bigger and bigger. Imagine what they're going to be like in the winter. Serious numbers. But great fun once again, so. Thank you everyone. Is there any point in me looking at this to see what's going on? Yeah, see these guys, they're not part of a team. Uh, so it's looking to me like vision. One, two, three, four riders all coming over 53.17. Then Strada. No, that's, an, that's a lone rider. So then race three are 56.21. So 
So 56-22 probably stops the clock there, not absolutely sure. Then we've got, I think the next team, uh, WKG Vomit. Yuck and Bluest. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm so sorry. If it's, I'm really butchering names. Brian Roden. JW. Is that enough? Three. I think that team, it was the third rider that stopped the clock. So 6109. Great stuff, guys. Then we have Torture. Whoop, my laptop's about to fall. <coughs> Excuse me. Torture. 6404. Brilliant stuff. Gordon Jackson, John Bythway, Peter Wilson, Chris Davis. Excellent. And then I think it's this Tugas team. 6511. Well done. Then we have maybe this V. V. Is that the is that the vegan team? I don't know. Let's say it's them. 65-38. Possibly. No idea. Okay. And then there's Matt Seafree from Team Torture. Then this is Team Pain coming in at 68-34. <clears throat> I'm not sure if this is the next team, but they're the next ones that look like they're all grouped together. Dave Harmsworth. Hell why? Darren Rayfield. Paul Trilk. Great stuff. And then we have Team Fun. 7106, Percy Santa Maria, Catherine Denton, Paul Elliott Kowalczyk, Keith Denton. Brilliant stuff. Next up we have, is that the Goat Herders? Kevin Wiltshire, Mike Pickering. I think it is. Is it just the two of them at 7223? Yeah, I don't know how many are in that team, so I think you need more than two. I'm not absolutely sure. Then there's Kev's team, 7239. Good effort, guys. Especially with Kev having that dropout on the climb. Sorry, I've got to get off both saddles, killing my backside. Uh, so, Kev Stephen, Brett Elder, and Kate Catronis from Team ODZ, well done. And uh, there's Torana Martinison there for Team. I think he was in Torture, I'm not absolutely sure. There's Maria from Team Fun, great stuff, Maria. There's Andrew from Team Fun, well done, Andrew. Don't know who these guys are, if I'm honest. Then it's myself from Team Fun, and yep, yeah, managed to hold off the herd. 80, so I did 80.02, they came in at 80.16, quite they did, well their last rider would have been, I don't know how many count, let's say 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 8.22, it's 20 seconds behind, that means they, <coughs> they did put on a good charge in the end, coming up to the line, um, so well done, then we've got Di Ferreira from 2Gas, and there'll be others coming in, oh, I, lo I really like that course, I think it's brilliant for racing, but I really hate it as well, it's horrible. Maybe I just, I just need to practice on it. I wish I could just select it to go and ride because um, I think it'd be a really good course for training. Obviously, I've got less than a month now until my Scotland meet up with the WKG slash ODZ people. The riding I've been doing has been pretty tame. I've been doing a lot of this off-road gravelly kind of stuff. And to be honest, I've been filming most of it, which means I'm not really putting much effort out. Uh, I did obviously do the tack race on this course on Monday. I've done it again today. Uh... So there's a bit of effort in there, but I'd like to be able to select this route just so I can use it for practice. Try and get some, uh, get my climbing legs back a little bit. But anyway, I'm encouraged by my second climb. I was pretty pleased with that. And I'm still alive. Didn't get cramp and didn't have, well, I had a kind of mini mechanical at the end. But anyway, that's it. Well, thank you all so, so much for riding. Thank you all for, for watching. Thank you, WTRL, for putting this brilliant event on. I really, really enjoy it. Um, Thank you, Gordon Jackson, again. He's the absolute don when it comes to organising these things for our for Team WKG. Um, and we've got such a brilliant presence in these races now, thanks to him. So, Gordon, you absolute legend. Thank you, buddy. Really, really, really doesn't go unnoticed or unappreciated. Um, so, yeah, awesome stuff. And hopefully I'll be in next week's. Bring it on.